Good morning, Church. Today's meditation is in the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 5. My ears had heard of you, but my eyes have seen you. This meditation is something that I've read recently in the book of Job, and this touched my heart a lot. You all know this verse, and you know you all know what Job went through, all the challenges that he went through. And after everything, he said this, My ears had heard about you, but now my eyes see you. So, is suffering something that we go through useless? Can we all say that when we go through hard things, God is not going to use it? Of course not. We learn from this verse that when we hear about God, when we hear about encouraging verses, there is a moment that our eyes see how God has rescued us. And we have all gone through that. I want to remind you these verses. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Another verse in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you on my righteous right hand. These are promises, and these are verses of encouragement for us all today. The promise is that when we go through hard times, God is with us. We all know God is with us, but in those hard moments, we feel Him closer to us. And there is always a reason why we go through hard things. And the first that I'm saying today is that when we go through hard times, we see God. We see His power in our lives. Like Job said, Job had heard about the power of God. He knew how big, how powerful God was. But when he went through his hard times, he saw God. He felt God close to him. He heard God and he saw how much he, God, could save him from that situation. Another verse that I want to remind you today is in James chapter 1 from verse 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So the Bible encourages us. So when we go through hard times, we should remember that God is with us. And this is an opportunity for us all to see God, to to feel God close to us, and to experience the goodness of God in our lives. God bless you. Amen.